and she gives me a bit of the juice look. Happy days, everybody's a winner. Lovely jubbly. Popcorn cap. So guys, welcome back to the channel once again. Touching down from the super sexy Chiang Mai city in Thailand, as always. And today, back at one of my little chill zones, one of the ultimate chill places, Chiang Mai University, Ankau Reservoir. I mean, look, couldn't make it up, could you? Life ain't too bad, people, is it? It's not a bad old life. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just come up to the university today and show you another little, another little place, another little gold mine. We're going to go and eat at the Chiang Mai University canteen. I'm going to show you the cheap price there and the great food there. Thank you for the amazing comments I had on my vaccine vlog. I had so many comments, man. It, I tried to reply to them all. I think I did. If I've missed any vlogs, guys, it's not because I didn't want to reply is because YouTube this great how great YouTube is in a great platform it is it's it's notifications for comments and things is pretty atrocious something they need to sort out I think but yeah I loved reading all your comments guys um, some agreed with me some some don't agree with me some people are angry it's always gonna be like that with a vaccine vlog right all the comments were you know, polite and understanding. There's a few people that lost the plot a bit in the comments, but it's always going to be like that, isn't it? It's always going to be. Everybody's got their opinions and things. Um, a lot of you are pro, pro vaccine, and a lot of you are against vaccine. And it was great hearing your stories, and it helped me. It's helped me think about things a little bit more and make a decision what I'm going to do. Ankal Reservoir, baby. Very quiet. So I'm going to have to put the mask on now because I'm going around to a part where people are walking and sitting. I only took it off for this bit here, so I'm going to put on the mask, guys. So all masked up and abiding by the rules again. Not being a little rogue. <laughs> yeah, so this, this university is amazing. It really is a massive part of the city. It is such big grounds and... No, we've got a reservoir on the university. It's amazing. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a little ride round after. I'm gonna go and find the canteen. I've not been there for a while, so it might take a bit of finding again. It's a, it's a really big area, but it's a really cool place. The public can use the university canteen. There's no problem with any of the public using it. Just gonna go and chill here for five minutes, cool down. I've cycled from my neck of the woods down the south it's not too far but it takes 20 25 minutes on a busy road Chiang Mai is a little bit busier now there's a few more tourists arriving and the roads just seem to be a lot more busier there's no one here again so I'm gonna take this off yeah it's looking very brown today but I think they have been um, messing with messing with the bed of the lake They've been ripping up trees and things, I do believe. I can't remember it being this brown water. Used to be quite nice water up here for a reservoir. <laughs> You'd think it would be quite, quite clean water for a reservoir. There's not many people here, just like the old city. There's not too many people here, as you would imagine. Although the city's getting a bit more busy, it's, it's still quiet. No one near what Chiang Mai would be. So over there is the Bird Island. I always call that the Bird Island. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, it should be. It's just the noise of birds and wildlife on that island. Full of all sorts of birds. Sometimes I just love sitting here and listening to it. 
reminds me of like the Amazon or something, watching something on TV, David Attenborough. <laughs> few people out jogging but not many the bird island anyway I'm gonna walk back around now guys and get black beauty and we're gonna have a little wander around the university and I'm gonna show you the university canteen where you can get some lovely food at a great price it's basically the same as like street food but you know it's a university canteen it says it is what it says on the tin <laughs> But we're going to go there, I've not been there for so long and the good thing about coming to the university canteen, you've got all this as well. You can make a morning of it, you can make a full day of it if you just chilled here for the day and around, around the Ankal Reservoir. And there's much more around the university grounds as well, they've got 7-Elevens, banks, you could stay here all day no problem, eat, chill out, coffee shops, I will show you the little coffee shop in a minute around the other side of the lake. A lot of other expensive cameras there. A lot more expensive than my little setup. My little GoPro setup. It's not what gear you got though, is it? It's what you do with it. <laughs> don't matter how big it is it's how you use it I always think that of YouTube as well it don't matter what gear you got or what you're doing I think I think the people have got to like the person who's actually vlogging as well I'm not saying I'm I'm one of those but I think you need some sort of personality or some sort of something about you that makes people want to watch I think like these big youtubers they've got the big following and you know something always must attract them to come back and watch their channel I think you need you need to be have some sort of character about you or so funny or you know just some little hook that in your personality that that a lot of people like and of course it doesn't matter if you've got a big channel or a small channel does it so we've parked Black Beauty over near the coffee shop which is a cool place to come and chill on your laptop uh, I don't come up here much I live down down south a bit so I've got the coffee shops down my way I like I come up here for Ankal really it's a great place to come and just relax for a little bit gather your thoughts great place for a vlog as well isn't it so the university mo motorcycles not allowed around Ankal bicycles not allowed so I couldn't can't take um, Black Beauty around even though I did see a guy riding a bike right around no pets allowed no fishing no littering of course no food or drinks you're not allowed to take food over to the lake or nothing and you're not allowed to camp here either I've seen a lot of these rules getting broken but that is Thailand all over right or scenes they make a rule it gets broken by someone no one really cares about rules in Thailand too much living a dream coffee shop got lots of people here look, working online and getting their coffee it's nice and cool under the trees as well so it's a great little place to come and relax I'll just show you inside a little bit Got these great wooden tables here where you can work. You can get food here as well. You can get a nice croissant, look. Nice bit of cake, sweaty cap. And you can get all your coffees. Um, latte, hot coca, flat white, cappuccino. 55 baht, 50 baht. 45 baht, so it's still a good good price for the location as well it's not overpriced for where it is so still all a good price who's that little beauty there who is that little beauty yeah she has got her in a bit of a shade now so i'm gonna head off around the university and find the canteen 
see what see what food they got on offer today get some grub sit down take it easy show you what they got it's like a city of its own Chiang Mai University so I'm just remembering the way here I think this is the way around to to the canteen it's very quiet up here now there's not a lot going on it's a beautiful place it really is makes makes the university where I live look like Mickey Mouse Club so yeah they got these little buses down there that pick you up and take you around Here's a better look at a bus. This little bus here will pick you up, take you around. Got all your banks in here and everything. ATMs. So this is it, found it again right away. It's not too hard actually. It's pretty easy to find. I'm just hoping it'll be open guys. Else this, else this vlog will be irrelevant. Let's do this. Hopefully we can get some grub. Fingers crossed. It's not looking too promising. It's not looking promising at all. But even if it's closed, I can show you where it is. I can show you where it is for reference and what it looks like. So I was in this building here, Chiang Mai University cafeteria, canteen. Never seen it so quiet. Normally this would just be full of motorbikes, students, and yeah, it's just empty. And this is it. We're gonna check it out, guys. This channel's all about checking stuff out, daily life. We win some, we lose some, right? We win together, we lose together. I'm hoping it's gonna be open because I am starving and I don't wanna be going anywhere else for food. I want some food now. But all the vending machines are empty. Yeah, there's not a lot going on. I'm the only one at university. Always said I'd go back to uni. So the university is still closed due to COVID and nearly all the students are online studying at home, but the university is still open. There's a few people here and I've just found a canteen and we're, it's open, not very busy. It's probably a great time to show you it actually. And yeah, not all the vendors are open. I've just had a little look, but it's a couple open and we're gonna go and eat here. And it's, yes, yeah, probably the better time to show you this place where it's nice and quiet into the canteen see that's where i come in there black beauty's just chained up down there let's have a look at her i want to see her there she is all on her own chained up over against the fence and this is the university canteen great place not as busy as it would be very quiet now it's a big open canteen, as you would think for a university or the school. It's got that big open university canteen feel. And in here, got the food stores. So, actually, it's only a couple that's closed. This one's closed and a couple others down there, but most of them are open. Um, there's not much food on the go. Not a great selection, but that's understandable because well, there's no students here. So I'm just gonna have a look down this one, see if there's anything better. Um, I think this one is noodles. Hello. <laughs> Swadi cab. Uh, noodles? Noodle here. Okay. Um, so I think I'm gonna get some pork noodles. 
menu here. Ah, menu's here. I'm looking in the wrong place as usual. So this is the menu, guys. Yen Tafo, Sen Lek Lung Ching. I'm butchering these names, by the way. And the pictures look a bit dated, so I can't really see. Uh, si Sip, Si Sip. Yeah. Berti, okay, thank you. So you get all your fruit juices here as well. Watermelons, pineapple, apple, melon. I'll probably get a water as well in a minute. Or a fruit, fruit shake. It's another little place closed. Yeah, so guys, this is the amazing Chiang Mai University canteen. Just gonna sit down, wait for me grub. Pork noodles, 30 baht bargain, under uh, about one dollar, under one pound. University prices are obviously nice and low for the students, so it's a great place to come and check out and eat sometimes. So now I'm having beef. Yeah, beef. <laughs> and she puts in some vegetables and some of the boars. I think they're soy boars. And she gives me a bit of the juice. Look, happy days. Everybody's a winner. Lovely jubbly. Cup con cap. And there's the finished article, guys. Thank you. So this is what I got, 30 baht. Uh, beef noodles with some veggies and some soy balls, I think. Um, these little balls are different all the time. Under one English pound, one US dollar. Can't go wrong for that, can you? And it's a bit weird. I'm the only Farang in the village. <laughs> it's empty here, man. Because obviously there's no university. So we're going to test out this beef noodles. Um, it's a medium sized portion, it's not great uh, for 30 baht, can't go wrong. Mm, nice, lots of flavours as well. 30 baht, it was nice, really nice, um, not the greatest dish in the world. You know, it's just it's university food, canteen food. It's just like street food, really, and nice and cheap. You don't get a hell of a lot. It's like a medium portion. I mean, to get two of them would be ideal, really. 60 baht, still cheap, isn't it? £1.50, $2. But yeah, it'll keep you going till, till you have your dinner later on. You can get all your sweets and your popcorn, banana chips. I'm addicted to these banana chips, man. They're so nice. I'm not sure how much they are here, but they're probably cheaper down Wang Mai Market. They're probably cheaper down my market, but this is the university, so it is one of the cheapest places in town. And just another little spot, if you're living up this way, university is perfect for coming to get a bite to eat, nice and cheap, save a few bat, and it's all about saving a bit of money, right? Just so eerie seeing it so quiet. All the students are at home. And yeah, that's how easy it is, guys. You just come down to the front of the canteen building, walk up and around over the bridge there, and there's the canteen. So across the road is the newer, the newer canteen, which is this place here. It's a lot newer and a lot more trendy. I went to the old, old style canteen down the road there, just about two minutes down here. So this is the brand new, well, it's not brand new, but it's newer, a lot newer than the other place. And yeah, I should have come in here to eat really, but I went down to the other one. Um, I'm gonna show you around just to show you what this new one's like. It's a lot more trendy and a lot more nicer to sit and you can sit outside here look and chill out and yeah that's where i was down there just across the road there i'm just going to show you this one you can get all your dairy queen and that in this one all your desserts and all your ice creams 
all your fruit juices. And yeah, this is where all the people, isn't it? This is the more busy one. I was in the old school one. <laughs> but you know, it's the same sort of food. And you got all your little vendors here. 40 bats, 30 bats. All your seafood and all your noodles. 30, 35 baht, it's all the same sort of prices. Uh, student prices, university prices. You get your pork and your fried chicken. Swelly cap. <laughs> and yeah, you got your noodles here, look. This is what I had. You can get your spaghetti bolognese style there. 35 baht, bargain. You can get all your dishes like you do down inside the city cow soy by the looks of it and rice and chicken it's all here man it's all here all your dishes all your dishes you would down all your broccolis eggs and it looks like people prefer this one a lot more look a lot more people in this one so i thought i would just show you people I will, I will locate both, both on the map anyway. Um, they're right next to each other. Doesn't really matter which one you go to. This one's a bit more air conditioned. It's nice and cool in here. And um, we'll just see what's upstairs in a minute. We will just have a gander. Because yeah, I've never been in this one before. Never been in this one. I'm sure it's just another floor with tables and chairs to eat. Yeah, it's just more food. Another, another food market look same as downstairs but on a different floor it's a lot nicer this one next time i will come to this one i think it's a lot nicer bigger selection as well so yeah i got got it wrong this time but it doesn't matter they're both both nice foods i'll just show you out on the on the balcony here you can get your food and eat it out here nice spot to eat your eat your lunch in it overlooking the university nice bit of cloud cover now as well which is ideal just check black beauty still down there left her down on the side there uh, yeah safe as houses in a uni safe as houses so yeah i think next time we're going to come and eat in the in the newer one just looks a little bit cleaner and better selection so we're going to head down now and Head back home, get a coffee, chill out for the rest of the day, man. It is a lot cooler in this one. This one's air conned up, baby. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for another vlog. Hope you enjoyed it, having a look around the university and me pottering around the reservoir and getting up to mischief. <laughs> it's all about just seeing how it pans out today, you know? and doing a vlog about it and just chilling in Chiang Mai thanks for all the comments get some great comments and subscribers now um, I love I love doing the vlogs for you guys and a lot of you like watching the vlogs which is which is really nice so it gives me the motivation to keep going it's a nice 29 degrees now 29 C so I love it when it's like this just gives you that little bit more energy to go out doing things it's lovely when it's roast or not but you can't you can't do much man it's it's hard to do a lot so yeah the coming months going to be perfect i'm going to stop waffling as always and i will see you in the next one guys so take it easy man take it easy